You're now rocking one on one with Raider Mystic. K P O V. One on one with Raider Mystic. Yeah, my To me, there are three things we all should do every day. We do this every day of our life. You're going to have, what a wonderful, number one is laugh. You should laugh every day. Number two is think. You should spend some time in thought. And number three is you should have your emotions moved to tears. Could be happiness or joy. But think about it. If you laugh, you think, and you cry, that's a full day. That's a heck of a day. You do that seven days a week, you're going to have something special. You want sports content that you've never heard in your entire life? Check me out every Saturday morning from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. It's one-on-one with Raider Mystic. We sit down, we have a cup of coffee, and we break it down for 60 minutes one-on-one with a sports athlete. Traverse the universe with me of sports as we interview all walks of life. We are just getting started. The only sports talk show in Central Oregon. I'm your guy. It's one-on-one with Raider Mystic. What's up, Central Oregon? It's Saturday morning. We're just getting in the booth here. Adjusting the volume knobs. Eight, oh, three, and 25 seconds. This is one-on-one. I got a real special guest in the house today. I want to give a shout out, just say, what's up? Yeah. What's up? There we are, yeah. You heard him in the past. He's back, he's back, he's back. Back in the booth. Man, so much going on. Let's talk about it for a second. I'm just live and direct, we freestyling up a wreck You know we got the US Open, I just gotta get next And we got the NFL opening weekend What we gonna do, which team's gonna win What we gonna brew, we got the Raiders and the Broncos The Chiefs just lost, uh oh Do you think their season's at cost? I don't know I think they're kind of clever, like my rhymes, when I pull it together and just sever every single rhythm. It's like a lyrical incision, I'm like a doctor and you're wishing, you know what I mean, I'm fishing up at the lakes, the Cascade Lakes trying to catch a rainbow. This is the way that we just gotta be a good bro, huh, maybe we should hit up Shevlin Pond, catch a monster trout and eat it for dinner. That didn't even rhyme, that's okay, it's like a dime. Feeling fine at Saturday morning. Yes, y'all, Saturday morning. Feeling fresh, feeling good. I got a special guest in the house today. He was only on the show once, right? Yeah. Back in the day, it was Rye the Fantasy Guy. Can you believe that? Rye the Fantasy Guy is in the house with me. It's hard to get these people up out their beds and stuff (laughs) down here. But thanks for joining me, right? How are you feeling today? Good. You're feeling pretty good. Kind of fresh, kind of fresh. That's good. And uh, we're going to talk about all things. You know, we got the high school football scores like we always do. We got uh, NFL. You know, this is going to be a little more focused on football this episode. Uh, We got the NFL opening weekend upon us. And we got college football hitting too it all hits at the same time you know just like uh like the kids say it hits a little different right now right (laughs) so let's open up with a few of these high school scores and then we'll uh get into the rest of what we got what we got for you Got a couple. We got a little game we're going to play. But here we are, live and direct. So I got 
my special guest here is Rylan. Um, ten years old, right? Yeah. Yep. Um, fresh, fresh. School just started this week. Um, how was the first couple days of school? It was pretty good. Pretty good. Um, what kind of sports are you guys playing at school? Like on a recess? Basketball. Basketball. Now, are you doing like a three on three, five on five, bump? Bump. Bump. Mm-hmm. Um, because when I picked you up yesterday from school, you were like covered in sweat. It was, I know it's kind of hot outside, but you were working hard, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, how many kids play bump when you do that? Like five. Like five. And uh, do you ever get the win? Yeah. Yeah. Is somebody like normally like gets the most wins? Not really. Not really. You guys all get get take turns. There's some kids that don't get that many wins. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, everybody's got a little different skill levels and stuff. And uh, that's how the cookie crumbles. So, last night, we were at a high school football game. We were at the uh, Mountain View Church Hill game. And I know uh, you were there, Rylan. And what did you think of the whole scene there? It was cool. It was cool. Um, I remember after the game, you mentioned, like, wow, that was kind of crazy. Like, they had cheerleaders. <laughs> they, uh, I don't think you were there at halftime, um, but they had a whole dance team. And then the high school bands always playing, right, and playing for the kickoffs. And then at Mountain View, they they uh, light off a um, like a, a boom every time they score a touchdown, which always surprises me and kind of catches me off guard and makes me jump. Did you recognize that? Yeah. I know you, you saw a bunch of the touchdowns. Um, so the, the Mountain View in that game, they won 37-0 to zero against Churchill. Churchill was having a frustrating night, and Mountain View was having a good night. Mountain View looks pretty good. Um, Jack Foley had a couple touchdowns, right? And Angel Valenzuela, the running back, um, you might see him on on the news right now. He's uh, was selected as one of the best plays of the week with a breakaway touchdown, and that's just you know that he had a couple of those last week. I mentioned him on the show. I said, watch out for him. He's going to run you over. And he he did the same thing. He's running downhill. He's making quick moves. You know, he, he reminded me, uh, remember this guy Le'Veon Bell? Yeah. He reminds me a little bit. Le'Veon Bell is a whole different character. But he he, he does that that quick jump when he gets the ball. And then he, like, sees what the defense throws at him and he does a little side step side step sh- stutter 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 and like and then takes off again he he's really good um i see him i mean he is just a sophomore too so watch out i mean this is just the beginning of a monster career and then let's talk about the kicker connor calvert now you saw his kickoffs. Mhm. Um, I haven't. We haven't got to see him get the opportunity to kick any field goals yet. But I really look forward to seeing if we can pull the trigger on like a fifty-yarder or something. Because this dude, this high school senior, is literally kicking sixty-five-yard field goals in warm-ups. Literally. Kicking 65 yard field goals straight center in warm ups. Like he's got the leg. The last time I seen someone with that much power and that much strength was Sebastian Janikowski, who was a kicker for the Raiders. 
And I'm not just talking about him because he's from the Raiders. Because we love the Raiders. But um, Sebastian was a beast. Um, he kicks the ball and just launches it. There's a few people that have like monster legs. And I like I like what I see from from Connor Calvert. He is already agreed to go to Washington State. So he'll be going to Washington State. That's already set up. I understood he had a meeting with the Ducks as well. But uh, from what I understand, only my understanding is that, um, yeah, at Washington State, he gets the opportunity right away to to get into the game. So that's some great stuff and a great win for Mountain View. And the scene was electric. So let's jump into other scores for 5A last night of we'll just concentrate on our teams in our area. I mean, we got Corvallis and Central, Silverton, Woodburn, Dallas McKay, blah, 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 blah. I'm looking. And now I know. Here we go. Summit. Summit played Thurston. And Summit came away with the victory. So Summit 46, Thurston 25, Summit with the win. Mazama and Eagle Point had a a very high scoring overtime game. Mazama won fifty seven to fifty one. Ashland beat North Eugene thirty one seven. And here we go, Redmond. Redmond lost. Uh, Redmond lost to Pendleton, uh, fourteen to seven. So Redmond lost. I believe last week we had a win from Redmond, win from Crook County. But uh, this week, uh, they both lost. Crook County lost to Junction City, 28-10. And Bend took a loss as well. Bend did not score any points. Trying to locate them again here on this extremely long Oregonian list that they put out. There it is, North Medford. Ben had to play North Medford. North Medford is a little bit of a stronger team in a lot of sports, I believe. 41-0. So Ben is going to want to rebound from that one. I know they had a good win last week. I also know that Ben lost a lot of their seniors last year. So they are um, not uh, not going to be as strong, I don't, be- I don't think, unless... Unless they can pull pull it out, you know they gotta gotta get your practice in, gotta get your reps in, see what you can do. And Caldera, Caldera had a good night. They beat Grants Pass. It must have been the climate. Thirty four Caldera, fourteen Grants Pass. So those are our local. Scores. I'm looking for Ridgeview. There's Ridgeview. Ridgeview got the dub too. So congratulations, Ridgeview. I know um, we got a brand new season upon us. I believe they lost last week. So Ridgeview beat Gresham 35 to 14. So congrats, Ridgeview. We know some uh, some of the coaching staff over there as well. So, big weekend. We got the the um, U.S. Open. It's been going on for weeks. And my girl, Coco, Coco Goff, she is in the final today. Excited for that one. Um, I really like watching this lady. She's a young one on the rise. She's the next one. She has just opened up with extreme confidence as of this year this season this summer and is sweeping sweeping the tennis courts like she went from like getting close scores with all some of the top ranked uh, opponents to just like blanking them just really pulling her game together playing with extreme confidence and just taking out anything that's in in her path so that's been a lot of fun to see and then we also have the men's final today. Let's 
see what time that's at. We'll, we'll pull that up for you here in just a moment. And so let's get let's get over to this, Rye. Let's get up to let's let's ju- jump over into the NFL matchups, okay? Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. So we, we started the NFL season the way we like to start with an AFC division rival losing. Um did we had the Detroit Kansas City game. Did you get to see any of that? Yeah. And what uh did you Anything stick out from that game to you? Maybe teams need to be more careful of the Lions now, maybe? Maybe maybe a little more careful of the Lions. The Lions are for real. Lions are ferocious. <laughs> but um, the Lions, yeah, they had some good defensive stands. Um, they were able to stop Mahomes. and But you know who didn't help him was my fantasy guy, my fantasy wide receiver. Kadarius Tony. Kadarius Tony. Drops like three passes. Yeah, he dropped some major passes. But that's okay, Kadarius. You can drop all you want if you're on my fantasy team as long as uh if you don't want to win, that's that's fine. <laughs> I'll I'll hand, I'll deal with that. I'll deal with that. But uh yeah, it was a it was a close game. Um but the and the Lions pulled it out. So in Chiefs territory at Arrowhead Stadium. Arrowhead Stadium is one of the biggest stadiums. It holds like a hundred thousand people. It's crazy. Um, I, it's on my bucket list. I want to go there. I, you know that was one of the next places I wanted to go. But this year, you know who plays on Christmas morning? It's the Chiefs and the Raiders at ten a.m. at Arrowhead Stadium. So you get to open up a few presents. And then hopefully get the best present ever. <laughs> but if it wasn't on Christmas, but uh, it could be a fun Christmas trip as well. But you'd be away from all your family and in enemy territory. No, you're not into that. <laughs> it sounds fun to me. All right, let's go to the Texans and Ravens. We got the Texans, the Houston Texans. With the newer quarterback, what, second year, I think? Yeah. And then uh, the Ravens with uh, a couple random parts in there. You get, what do you, who do you predict is going to win that game? Probably the Ravens because, I mean, C.J. Stroud doesn't have many good wide receivers. They lost their main one. Yep. Brandon Cooks now on the Dallas Cowboys. Uh oh. He's over at Dallas. Mhm. All right. So you're thinking the Texans are going to win this, or are you, no, you going for the Ravens? Ravens? You were going for the Ravens. Okay. So let's mark that down. Rye with the Ravens pick. Um, on this one, it's kind of a crapshoot for me. It could go either way. And then let's go to the Panthers, the Carolina Panthers, and the Atlanta Falcons. The Panthers and the Falcons. Who's the Falcons quarterback? Let's double check those stats so we can get you the correct information. I don't think it's Desmond Ritter anymore. Desmond Ritter. I believe so. Mm. That's who they're going with. Then probably the Panthers. Calvin Ridley. Um, Not on the Atlanta Falcons. He's on the Jags. On the Jags, yep. Shows it right here. Rookie B. John Robinson in that game, though. Atlanta Falcons. He might do good. But I still think the Panthers are going to win. Okay. So your pick is in? Yeah. <laughs> he picks the Panthers. So Panthers over Falcons. Um, now let's go over to uh, Bengals. Who dat? Who dat? Who they think gonna beat them Bengals? <laughs> Ooh, nobody. Yep, I got the chant down now after having my Bengals guys. You know we ha- last 
last season we had a special guest from Cincinnati, a star rapper on our show, and uh, we'll have to get him back on. He he's a he's a good dude, and he's a uh, he's been uh, getting bigger ever since. I've been following him, but he's all in on Bengals rap. So Bengals Browns. Hmm. I think the Bengals are probably going to win it. So Deshaun Watson's the be, uh, the Cleveland quarterback. Mm-hmm. Amari Cooper and Nick Chubb. It's probably going to be a close one, but I think the Bengals are going to pull out with the dub. I like that one, too. That's like a rivalry over there, Bengals-Browns, both from that, from... Uh, from the same area right there. Ohio. It's a battle of Ohio. For real. And then, so you're going with the Bengals. Mm-hmm. All right. Buccaneers. Tampa Bay Buccaneers without Tom Brady. And the Minnesota Vikings. Who's the Buccaneers quarterback? Let's get you that information direct. So we got that correct quarterback when they're changing these lineups all the time on us baker mayfield baker mayfield but that J- baker mayfield is the quarterback <laughs> do they even have a running back do they even yes they definitely have running backs right who, like- <laughs> who's the starting running back yeah we have a lot of information we need to get out there um Let's get this. Let's get it all straight while we're here. Uh, we got uh, Rashad White, Chase Edmonds, and Kishan Vaughn. Sean Tucker. He doesn't even have a picture. They don't even know who their court running backs are. I don't know if um, Baker Mayfield is going to be able to get the ball to Mike Evans or Chris Quadwin, but who's the other team again? And um, we had the Vikings. Vikings, Justin Jefferson. I think the Vikings are going to win. Even without Dalvin Cook, they still got one of the number one wide receivers in the whole league. Who's that? Justin Jefferson. And what's that dance he does? The Gritty. The Gritty. <laughs> and, and Rylan knows there's nobody does that, that does the Gritty better than me. Right? No, that's mm. definitely not true. <laughs> but nobody, you've never seen anybody try it as much, right? Maybe. I haven't seen a lot of people try it. This, this is this is a uh, true. Um, you know, when we're when we're out doing stuff, maybe we're at the grocery store or something. <laughs> you know, I'll I'll joke around and try to do the gritty down the down the aisle. And once once Rye sees me doing the gritty, he runs up to me and tries to hold me and <laughs> doesn't want to doesn't want me to embarrass myself out in public doing the gritty because you know, my gritty is fire. <laughs> no it isn't. <laughs> Pure fire. So so with that, did you say the Vikings, you thought? Yeah. Vikings. Yeah, I think the Vikings will pull it up, but you know, that's very interesting what's going on at Tampa Bay. So we'll we'll see. You know, all these teams have so many new looks, so many different things going on every season. So uh, it's a brand new season, and we got that going on again. And the Cardinals and the Commanders. Two worst teams in the league right there. Ooh. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna I'm gonna send that to the coach and the DM. <laughs> Two worst teams in the league. You heard it here first on one to one. Defense for Washington is really good though. Chase Young. Yeah. And they have Terry McLaurin, but their quarterback is is it Taylor Heineke? No, it is. Yeah, once once this all kicks in, we will know every quarterback. They got Sam Howell and Jacoby Brissett. Oh yeah, they're using Sam Howell. Sam Howell. 
is expected to start. I barely know the guy. Who's the starting quarterback for the Cardinals? Because I know Kyler Murray's hurt. We are working hard at work here, live and direct, getting you getting you facts. Josh Dobbs to start at quarterback for the Arizona Cardinals. Josh Dobbs. I think... I thought it was just a candy. I didn't know it was a quarterback, too. I think the Commanders will win. Dobbs stoppers. <laughs> just made that one up. You think the Commanders are going to get that one? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. At the end of the day, like you said, battle of the worst teams. Someone's going to win. <laughs> but uh, we'll see. We'll see how the season progresses. Let's go to Jacksonville. We're going to go over to Jacksonville with the, the Jacksonville Jags and the Indianapolis Colts. Um, ja What's his name? Running back for the Colts? I don't even think he is. He's not starting, is he? Starting. I don't believe he has a deal. We got Trevor Lawrence, right? Trevor Lawrence. I know everybody likes a, a good hair day. Um, so Trevor Lawrence is starting for the Jacksonville Jags. And then we're talking about the Colts running back. I mean, they don't even have pictured running backs at this point. Jonathan Taylor is is what we're talking about. Jonathan mm -hmm. Taylor, like what's going on with Jonathan Mm -hmm. What's Jonathan Taylor, he's not there. He's not. Uh, he hasn't. They haven't agreed. Okay. So he's he's chilling. Well, the Jags have a few wide receivers, Trevor Lawrence. So I think they're gonna win. They have Travis Etienne for running back. Yep. Yep. He's looking all right, huh? He should be all right. Mm -hmm. So you're going with the Jags? Mm -hmm. Okay, Jacksonville Jags with the victory. Ooh, this is an interesting matchup that I want to watch. San Francisco 49ers. And Pittsburgh. And the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, The 49ers probably, but... Who's their starting quarterback? It's not Trey Lance, I don't think. I think it might be Brock Purdy. No, I think it is. Trey Lance? I believe we got Purdy. Oh, my gosh. We are getting all kinds of little shout-outs here. But um, shout-out, sorry. my I haven't looked at my phone, guys. But shout-out, Stacy. What's up? Shout-out, John. John says, Rye is kicking. Beep. <laughs> So, good job, Rye. Good job. I think Brock Purdy is starting. Yeah, Purdy's, Purdy should be the starter if he's healthy enough right now. Let's let's check these facts out. Yeah, Purdy. Yep, yep. Purdy's going to start for sure. So then the Niners are going to win for sure. You heard that here first. For Niner fans, if you're out there listening and you know who you are, um, Raider Rye... <laughs> predicts San Francisco where's the, that's from like the rice aroni ad or something I'm probably singing it wrong the San Francisco treat um so 49ers over the Steelers okay um we got the Steelers the Raiders have the Steelers on us our first home game on Sunday night Vegas is gonna be popping on that night and since we're in Vegas which sucks Excuse my French. I believe that's okay. Um, we will have a lot of Steeler fans in the house, too. Everybody wants to travel to Vegas. What a fun weekend that would be. Let's go to the one weekend that our team plays in Vegas. Oh, well, we play in Vegas every home game, so we have to deal with y'all now. But uh, may the Raiders win. So let's go. We're getting there. We're getting there. Titans... And Derek Carr and the New Orleans Saints. That's going to be a close one because Derek Henry and DeAndre Hopkins, but I 
think they have, yeah, they have Ryan Tannehill for their quarterback. And then the Saints have Michael Thomas, Chris Olave, no Alvin Kamara or Kamara. But I think. Oh, he's suspended, right? Yeah, for four games or something. What a bad boy. <laughs> four games. I signed him, though. He's on my fantasy team. I'm, I'm holding him in the reserves. Mm-hmm. I know he's going to come out and be big enough. So I think the Saints are going to win with Derek Carr, though, because they have just a better defense. But if the defenses were the same, then it would probably be just... I don't know actually who it would be, but I think the Saints have a better defense, so they might stop them more times. I mean, the Saints think they're going to the Super Bowl already from the way all the fans are talking and the sports beat writers and stuff. But, you know, I do think Derek Carr is going to play his little heart out and try to prove something that he wasn't able to prove for the last decade. So, you know, good luck to him. Um, I root him on any time he plays anyone except the Raiders. So good luck over there in New Orleans. Hope you enjoy your crawfish and all that. But, uh, yeah, I'm glad he he gets this opportunity. It's a perfect, perfect uh, match, I think. So you think Derek Carr is going to have a good season over there? Probably. I think so. But they, I mean, they have embraced him. He's already the team captain. He is? Yep. So he, they're all in on the car. Got to start the car. Boom, boom. <laughs> That's what they're doing. So, yeah, Saints tight. So you're going with Saints on this one? Yeah. What about Derrick Henry? Is Derrick Henry going to just run everybody over like he always does? Yeah, but I think DeAndre Hopkins might have a nice 100-yard game. Ooh, yeah, DeAndre Hopkins, huh? Oh, we got a letter in. Uh, <laughs> I just got a letter in. No, a text came in from uh, our famous 49er stronghold, and uh, Trey Lance is actually a cowboy, remember? He is? Yep, he's a cowboy. So we got to got to put that in the uh, memory register. Locked. It's locked in and loaded. So that leads us to our first official game for my favorite team, Raiders, Broncos. Where do you sit on the Raiders-Broncos game, Rye? Probably the Raiders, considering they got Josh Jacobs back. And I don't know if the starting running back for the Broncos is starting, but maybe. I'm pretty sure he was hurt last year, but... And maybe the Sean Payton might be better for Russell Wilson and Cortland Settle and everybody there. But I think the Raiders are going to win with the Devontae Adams, Jimmy G, and Josh Jacobs. You heard that here first. Jimmy G is going to take the Raiders to the promised land. They're going to go to Mile High and make them Mile High cry and then say bye. <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh, the running back, Javante Williams. Yeah. I think he's starting. Yep. So this will be the first time he's played um, in a long time. Mm-hmm. But we got Russell Wilson, uh, the billion-dollar quarterback, riding on the wings of Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> And and the coach, Peyton, right? So this is his first time. He's trying to make an impression. Um, I, Sean Peyton, I think that, uh, you know, that you got some good pieces there. But is it good enough to beat the Raiders? The Raiders, you know, the Raiders are not getting love anywhere. Not that they ever do. But as far as, like, on a skill level, like, everybody's like, oh, the Raiders are just going to have a crappy season. Like, n- like just getting dissed and ripped on. I was watching uh, uh, late Sports Center last night, and 
nobody's showing nobody's showing love like nobody is except for the inside raider press which is kind of crazy to me the broncos are favored by three points three and a half points really in this game and they don't like their wide receivers are hurt russell wilson hasn't been able to gain a yard since 1943 portland settle (laughs) is that or whatever his name is hurt um, we need to double check those facts, but yeah, the, the, and the, Jerry Judy? the, a lot of the squad, a lot of the receiving crew is not, uh, yeah. Double check. Can you double check that for us? Yeah. Type that up and get, we'll get to work over here for you. Find out who's, who's playing here on this Bronco squad. But, uh, yeah. So Ryland predicts Raiders win. I'm going to predict a Raider blowout. I'm talking like 50 points to like three. I mean, they Broncos got both their star wide receivers are healthy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you pulled it up? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, yeah. I don't, know what the, I don't know what the people are saying out there. One of them is questionable, but... Yeah, I think they're all a little questionable, in my opinion. <laughs> that whole team's questionable. But you know, you know where I come from. But let's let's move on. Let's move on. I could really get into this uh this uh, this situation here. Yep, Jimmy G fifty to three. You heard it here first. Jimmy G fifty three. We're taking them all the way. Quarterback so let's move move on. We got Eagles and the Pats. The Eagles and the Patriots. Philadelphia, New England. Eagles. You're going Eagles. By like twenty one. Eagles by twenty one. Okay. Let's continue on. Rams, the Los Angeles Rams, um, and the Seattle <laughs> Seahawks. <laughs> I think this could go either way, but... Somebody give them some Alka-Seltzer. Yep. But with Geno Smith and two star wide receivers, I think the uh, Seahawks are going to win. Yep, Geno Smith. Yeah, you know, this will be interesting. I don't think the... I'm not sure who the Rams are. Rams don't got Cooper Cup for this game. That means I don't have Cooper Cup on my fantasy team. Yeah. You could have traded a one-point person for, like, a 25-point person if he was healthy. Yeah. Because Kadarius only only got one single point for you, and he was out, so. Oh, now you're ripping on my fantasy team? (laughs) (laughs) Didn't you choose? Didn't you help me select that team? Yeah, but I no, he wasn't on I uh he wasn't on IR before. Okay, okay. I might still get you a hot chocolate later. We'll see. <laughs> um <laughs> So you went with Seahawks. I'm gonna go Seahawks too. I think the Seahawks are looking pretty good. Um I think they'll do all right, you know. Seattle seems to be getting stronger again. I'm pretty sure they have Jamal Adams there too. Uh huh. Pretty old I think. Hey, so the you know they still got uh, the ga- the guy that chews all the gum on the sideline. Oh, the coach. <laughs> yeah, you got it, <laughs> Pete Carroll, gum chewing, gum chewing fanatic. Who do you know that you've seen out in any of anyone that's chews gum like a madman? <laughs> I mean, he must have pockets full of hubba bubba, big league chew, trident, you know. All I wonder what his favorite gum is. We'll have to maybe get him on on a call or something and see if we can find that out. It's probably like the old Beeman stuff or something, some old stuff that loses its, its flavor after three minutes. Um, on that note, I know when it comes to gum, what's your favorite gum? Like. Trident, not. I don't like mint. No mint. You can't do the mint, but um, like a uh, like a fruity flavor. Yeah. Or just a straight bubble gum. Fruity flavor thing. Okay. 
Yep, those are pretty good. I like a strawberry myself. Watermelon. I like the watermelon. Yeah. All right, let's continue on. Sorry, Pete Carroll. I hope you have enough jaw to keep that going. Um, <laughs> Dolphins, Chargers. This is a big game. I would love to see this game. It's at the same time as the Raiders game, so I'm obviously not going to be able to see it. On TV it said Chargers, but I really think the Dolphins are going to win. Because, I mean, Tyreek Hill had like almost like three times the yards with Tua instead of the other quarterback in the playoffs, that guy. Yeah. Ooh. And Jalen Waddle and... Raheem Moster might get a few running pretty good. I'm pretty sure Chargers have a really bad running defense. So I think the Miami Dolphins are going to win, but still the Chargers have weapons like Austin Eckler, Mike Williams, and Keenan Allen, and Justin Herbert. But I think the Dolphins are going to pull away. Yeah, the Dolphins um, are definitely the team I want to win. <laughs> But we'll see. That'll be a good matchup. Um, Miami. They got their own little song, too. Their old old-fashioned song that they play in the stadium. I had the opportunity a few years back to go to a Miami uh, Raider game. And, and we brought the whole Bay Area, the East Bay Area, that is, to Miami. And, man, we, we were we – we're DJing and performing in the parking lot in Miami, and it was lit. Like people, it was so fun. It was really cool. Um, Miami wasn't doing anything like that. Like we brought that whole that whole Bay Area tailgate flavor um, from the West Coast to Miami and just dropped it right in. Like we had portable sound systems, DJs, rappers. It was awesome, and we squished the fish pretty good on that one, too. So that was a lot of fun. Shout out. We actually got to rap at some uh, famous place right there on uh, South Beach, and we were interviewed by ESPN. Good times, good times. So carry on. Uh, Green Bay Packers and the Chicago Bears. Probably the Chicago Bears. I mean, Green Bay doesn't have any weapons I can think about besides, like, some Ooh. rookie wide receiver from last year. Dang. I'm going to have to send this to the Green Bay coach. Oh, actually, they do have Aaron Jones. Yeah, yeah, they got weapons. They got weapons. Um, you know, and I think they're excited, you know, to play without Aaron Rodgers. and and. Uh, but who else was the other team again? Um, uh, the Chicago Bears. I think Justin Fields and DJ Moore are going to work together and pull the, out the win. Yep, I hope so. Um, he's on my fantasy team. I got Fields, right? And so Bears over Packers is your prediction. That's interesting. You know, I don't know what either team, what either of those teams are going to look like until I see it. So, um, on to the famous Dallas Cowboys and the New York Giants. Um, you like my Dallas and New York accents? They're totally not good. Probably. I'm pretty sure Dallas beat, like, the Giants, like, three times in the series they did. Mm-hmm. But... I mean, Saquon Barkley versus Tony Pollard and, like, do the Giants have wide receivers? Darren Waller. Oh, they have a <laughs> tight end. I think I think Dallas is still going to win, though. But let's talk about Darren Waller. Darren Waller is now all of a sudden listed as questionable. Mm-hmm. So, of course, Raider fans jumped on that one and was like, uh-oh, here we go again. Now he's not going to be able to play that much. Yeah, we don't really know what happened in the previous years. Like, Darren Waller was balling. He was 
he had the he had the most catches in like Raider history a couple seasons ago, and then like didn't get, even get used, and then was hurt half the time. And you know, it's hard to say what's going on if it's coaching decisions or you know with the new coach and the way they want to use them. And it just it does seem like you know coach has his guys that he wants and he switches the team around kind of figure and like was like keeping these guys at bay like to to get rid of them and and bring in bring in his own system but with that you know we ended up with um another tight end that's a rookie so we will see how that all works out starting soon and there's one last game right yes sir and then we move to do, 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 do. Monday Night Football. All my rowdy friends are here on Monday night. And that's the Buffalo Bills and the New York Jets. The Buffalo Bills and the New York The Jets. New York Jets with Aaron Rodgers. Dalvin Cook and Garrett Wilson. Rodgers drops back. He takes two steps back. He drops it deep. It's a bomb. Two good starting running backs here. I don't know if they both start, but probably not. Here, try talking to Mike. Here. Maybe they have Brees Hall starting or Dalvin Cook. Dalvin Cook is off the hook. But I think Aaron Rodgers and Garrett Wilson might become a really good duo. Okay, okay. Yeah, um, the New York Jets with it with Aaron Rodgers. But I think Buffalo is going to win because they just have Josh Allen and... Just Buffalo. The normal people that they always have. <laughs> yeah, the normal people. It's a strong team, right? Like Nothing they really moved around with them. Like I predicted them with the Super Bowl last year. That was my prediction. But uh yeah, so they should be they should be contending. They should be a contender. Um heading the soup heading in the direction of the Super Bowl along with uh, all these other teams that are strong. And now um, after that complete breakdown of NFL matchups by myself, Raider Mystic, and over here, uh, Rye, are you going by Rye, Rylan, Raider Rye? Raider Rye. Raider Rye. I like it. If you don't know, when we first started this show, um, Rye did a, uh, a little segment called Raider Rye, the Fantasy Guy, or it was just Rye, the Fantasy Guy, I mm-hmm. think. I think so. And he and he broke down. It was like a ten minute breakdown on hot fantasy players and duds. And he worked hard. He spent like five hours like prep prepping. And then he was like, "I'm never. I don't want to do that again. That's like too much time, right? That mm-hmm. like took like five hours to make that ten minute segment for one show. So, but this is a lot easier to just talk a little football, a little live. So, um. This is one of Rye's favorite games, Rye. I'm going to put you in charge. And we're going to call this game, Who Do You Think Is Better? Oh, I want to make a shout out for the next week's show. Uh, Let you guys know, I got a a solid um, local sporty guy. You know, uh, Bend, Oregon Raider Nation had an awesome barbecue out in the park. That was fun, huh, Rye? Yeah, really fun. Really fun. The kids say, really fun. Um, We had uh, a Z21 stop by and did a live feed from the barbecue. Z21 actually went live four different times from our barbecue. That is some epic stuff. So live at Sawyer Park. I mean, it was easy. It was across the street from their station. But they came, they ate barbecue, they hung out, they played cornhole, they were eating chicken, burgers. I mean, we were talking about chicken and burgers on the on the uh the news live. It's pretty pretty wild stuff. But um Noah Chastain, the sports reporter for Z twenty one, is gonna be here live in the studio with me. He's gonna come hang out. And we're going to break down the previous night of high school football, and we're going to break down some other stuff. We're going to drop into to some more high school sports, too, that I haven't been able to get into yet. So, 
Back to our game. Who do you think is better? So Rylan has this little game that he always likes to play <laughs> with anybody that's listening. <laughs> who do you think is better? So Ry, who do you got? Um, I got Derrick Henry or Josh Jacobs. Who oh, do you think is better? What an electric matchup. Who do you think is better? Derrick Henry or Josh Jacobs? Man, those guys would both fall right on the top of my list for running backs. I mean, they're obviously different style people. Derrick Henry is unlike anybody else. He's a monster. He's a horse. He's a big strong and then he can break i mean i'm i'm amazed the guy's still healthy enough to be running but he just clobbers everybody runs over everybody breaks big runs i love it i love it i mean he's like the world he's like a wwe uh wrestler playing in the nfl um and then you got josh jacobs crafty fast and uh, the league leader last year, I, I can I give him a tie? No. <laughs> so, you know, man, that's not even fair. <laughs> I, I, I see them like neck and neck. They're just different styles. But uh, since I'm a Raider fan, I'm going to go Josh Jacobs. Okay. Joe Mixon or Nick Chubb? Joe Mixon or Nick Chubb. You know, both these guys are hard runners, but Mixon always seems to, like, rack up the points. I like the points. I need the points. Let's go Joe Mixon. Okay. Keenan Allen or Calvin Ridley? Keenan Allen or Calvin Ridley. You know who we haven't seen for a while? Who? Calvin Ridley. Oh, yeah. Calvin Ridley is anxious to get back, anxious to be there, and he'll be going all in. Calvin Ridley all the way. Stefan Diggs or A.J. Brown? Stefan Diggs for the win. Okay. You got any quarterbacks? Um, give me a second. All right, you pulled that up, and we just got a couple minutes left here today, man. Um, had a a bunch of different stuff lined up, but this is uh, this is cool. This is cool. I I thought that uh, maybe you wouldn't even make it this morning, Rye. But you did, so good job. Appreciate it. Who do you think is better, Justin Herbert or Josh Allen? Justin Herbert or Josh Allen? Man, that's another tough one. You're going to make a lot of Oregon Duck fans mad if you don't choose Herbert. They're going to go. Um, and uh Josh Allen is a is another beast, you know. He's you know, he's like the size of like a tight end or something and he can run the ball, right? He's a little taller than mm-hmm. and he's strong. Uh, I was watching highlights of him uh jumping over people last night they were showing. Great highlights. Um I'm going to go with Allen. Okay. Who do you think? Probably Allen. Yeah, probably. But Herbert, Herbert's good. Herbert's good. Oregon Duck right there. Who do you think is better, Trevor Lawrence or Justin Fields? Trevor Lawrence or Justin Fields? Well, um, Trevor Lawrence wins the hair competition. Justin Fields has to prove stuff to me. Um, I know he hasn't had the best surrounding cast. But, um, you know, I am going to go, I'll go with Fields. I, I'm not sure, though. Who do you think? I, I really like Fields, so probably Fields, but there's probably some people that would go with Trevor Lawrence. 
Yeah. And and who you, who else do we got here? You got another. I'm looking for a tight end right tight now. Tight ends. Let's do tight ends. <laughs> who do you think is better, Mark Andrews or um, George Kittle? Ooh, how's Kittle doing? Is Kittle is Kittle ready to play? He's questionable. He's questionable. Um. You know, I, of course, have to go with, I I can't really say it because I'm a Raider fan, but Kittle. <laughs> I like Kittle. Kittle, you know, he's another guy that's like straight out the WWE. Um, like Travis Kelsey, too, which is probably a big reason why the Chiefs didn't win. Travis Kelsey had to put his little towel over his head and scream a couple times on the sideline. But what you got next? Um, Odell Beckham Jr. or um, Jacoby Myers? Odell Beckham or Jacoby? Man, Odell Beckham really hasn't played that much, right? He's on the Baltimore Ravens. Right, but uh, last season he was hurt. I don't remember him being hurt, but he wasn't. He wasn't out there. But um, I know he wants to perform. But it was Odell Beckham versus who? Jacoby Myers. Jacoby Myers. And, you know, I want Myers to ball out, so I'm going with Myers. But And, you know, Ryde, that's that's about all we got for right now. Okay. Um, we have a couple minutes left here. I want to uh, give a shout-out to everybody that's been texting me. I, I get it. I see it. Um, looking forward to to uh, next week's show. We got Noah Chastain from... KTVZ NBC in the house and right you look like you need a little more rest you've been yawning <laughs> a lot we should we definitely needed some hot cocoa before this or a little bit of coffee but yeah I'm a little too young for that huh? yeah but um appreciate you waking up coming down here thank you you have anything you want to say to your fans not really uh, shout outs we got uh rhoda craig out there we got stacy we got uh grandmas out there we got all kinds of people tuned in um shout out everybody thanks for tuning in john uh, john raider john osu stronghold in the house i see you we see you appreciate you listening um and look forward to this weekend we got uh, college football man Watch out for those Colorado Buffaloes. Neon Dion Sanders is bringing the the crew together, man. Everything they've been doing has been awesome. Really look forward to seeing what's going on with that too. So today, watch your U.S. Open finals. You got the men's and the women's. We got the college football. And we got the NFL season kicking ways. I'll be over at Big E's with the Bend, Oregon Raider Nation tomorrow. We're going to have a, a great kickoff party. And you guys have a good day out here in sunny, beautiful central Oregon. And go Raiders.